Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by. Today we're gonna make a jambalaya with pasta. So I guess a uh, pasta laya? <laughs> Let's get started. All right, in a pan, we're gonna put a few tablespoons of olive oil. Now we're gonna add our sausage, and this is a smoked sausage. If you can, I recommend you get an andouille. I could not, so a smoked sausage will work fine here. You're gonna to wanna to cook it on both sides for a few minutes, giving it a flip here and there, and basically just cooking it to the doneness that you like, the crispiness that you like. After it's done cooking, we're gonna just go ahead and pull it out of the pan and put it on a plate, put it to the side. So here we have my Cajun seasoning, and the recipe is right here on the screen. It's also in the description. It's the seasoning we're gonna be using for this chicken. So we're going to liberally season this one chicken breast with the seasoning mix, and we're going to basically mix it around. You could use your hand if you like also. Now we're gonna fry this chicken, and I'm trying to put it evenly on the pan so that it don't, so that I don't overcrowd anything. After it's been cooking for a few minutes, you want to give it a flip. You basically want to cook it all the way through till it gets nice and golden brown. Then you want to remove it to a plate, put it to the side. Now we're going to go in with our veggies and we're going to start with our celery just because I like to give my celery a head start because I want it to be all the way soft. Then I went in with my onions and this is a sweet onion right here. And now we're going in with our peppers. And today we're using the red, the yellow, the orange, and the green. So we're just going to go ahead and cook these veggies for a few minutes. After a few minutes, these veggies are gonna give you a lot of juice and the juice is going to allow you to really deglaze this pan. And now we're gonna go in with our garlic. And this was only two cloves of garlic, two gigantic ones. I'm pretty sure four small ones would also work here. And we're only gonna cook it for about 30 seconds, guys. Now I'm gonna go in with one can of, I think these are called petite tomatoes or just diced tomatoes, the no sodium added kind. Now earlier when we cooked that pasta, we saved back a little bit of our pasta water. I don't think I told you that instruction, <laughs> my fault. But you're gonna wanna save some of that water to add to this sauce. Two bay leaves and some more of my Cajun seasoning. Feel free to definitely taste this sauce and season it to your liking. Now we're gonna bring this sauce to a simmer and we're gonna simmer it for about 10 minutes. And now we're going to put our sausage back in. We are going to put our chicken back in. And we're just gonna heat these through. It's only gonna take about one minute maybe. Now we have some shrimp here. I have about a half a pound of peeled and deveined shrimp. And I'm just going to season it liberally with the Cajun seasoning once again. We're gonna give it a nice stir and then we're gonna put it into the pan. We're gonna put this in and then we're gonna cover and we're gonna cook for between two to three minutes. All right, now we're going to add in some cream. This is some heavy whipping cream. I think it's about half a pint. I really wanted this to be a creamy pasta, but I also wanted jambalaya, but I just didn't want rice, so here we go. All right, and now we're going to put in the pasta, and I should have oiled mine. I didn't, so I will not make you watch me stir it up. We'll just pretend like it happened really easy. And there it is, guys. This is my jambalaya made with pasta. So maybe it's a pastalaya. I'm not sure. Maybe it has its own name. I don't know. 
but I definitely served it with this beautiful crusty bread on the side and it was so good you guys please give this one a go all right that's it come back to my kitchen anytime